Hello traders, hope you had a nice weekend. Today is Monday the 16th of October and we're going to look back at Friday's trades and we're going to look at today's potential trades and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Let's do this. Um, so I'm going to start with the only trade that I took on Friday and it was this, Euro Aussie dollar and we were looking to buy it. Why were we looking to buy it? Well, you can clearly see that we were in a sort of downtrend stroke range really and then price broke yeah out of these highs here guys out of the range with this candle here okay so as soon as we see this candle basically we're in an uptrend we're seeing higher highs and higher lows all right so we're clearly in an uptrend guys and the idea was just to bounce off this gray zone and take it back up to this gray zone i actually put this gray zone in during the day friday yeah and that's important to do guys keep your levels up to date and fresh you know your support and resistance levels yeah uh, and this is what i did here i spotted a new level so slightly adjusted my target all right so uh yeah we we're looking to buy euro Aussie dollar if we drop down to the h4 now it was basically yeah, we got a reaction. So this was that grey zone that I was talking about. You can see that price reacted many times in the past. So it could react again. And it did, basically, guys. So we got this really bullish H4 push off at that level. OK, um, you know, in an ideal world, I wanted it to retrace further before we come up. But this candle was just too bullish you know, not to get in on it, broke these last highs, it come off our grey zone, you know, it seemed like a good opportunity to enter. I got a slight retrace down to here, I put my stop below here, yeah, and I'm looking to take price back up to that blue line that we spoke about, guys, all right? Um, you know, and price started coming against us with this candle here, but then we saw another big bullish candle so you know this gives us the confidence to carry on with this trade obviously i haven't taken any profit and we're still waiting to see what happens with this but i would still be looking for buys on euro aussie dollar today all right so we're in this trade currently guys and that was the only trade i took from uh friday but let's quickly look at all the other trades the other one was pound aussie dollar obviously highly correlated with euro aussie dollar let me just point out this level through here so this is obviously uh, a resistance level here if we go to the day chart now yeah you can see also we were in an uptrend yeah higher lows higher highs okay and then we had this candle that broke these highs okay um and on the back of that guys we were just trying to take price back up to this blue line and that's exactly what happened it come up and touched that blue line literally to the pip um if we go to the h4 though this wasn't as easy to get in on because you know this was that h4 candle but you know here there's no value yeah, if I buy here and here's my target you know the trade doesn't make sense whereas euro Aussie dollar the trade made sense in terms of risk to reward which is why i took that one guys um so yeah we just couldn't get in on that for that reason um and then if we go to the uh swiss franc pairs that we were looking at so aussie dollar swiss franc you know we were looking to short this for obvious reasons guys yeah price was breaking down okay so we was in a downtrend started to see lower highs lower lows um, and the idea was to take price back down to this blue line. And that's exactly what happened again. However, this was just difficult to get in on, guys. Yeah, if we look at the H4, you know, by the time we wake up, we're around here, you know, and we just need to see a retrace. Yeah, I need to see a bit of value, guys, before I start selling this pair. But this was just off. Yeah, you know, Elvis had left the building. It was difficult to get in on this trade. Um, and it was exactly the same for New Zealand dollar Swiss franc. We start with the day chart just so you can understand why we were shorting it. But, you know, very simply a, a structure break. Yeah, this is the reason for a lot of my entries. Yeah, we started to see lower highs, lower lows. And therefore, we're looking to sell this back down to this grey zone here. Again, that's exactly what happened. It flew through that level. 
yeah, totally ignored that level, which is quite unusual, guys. Yeah. So that was that goes to show how powerful the Swiss franc was on Friday. Um, and again, just look at the H4. You know, this kind of that kind of trend is difficult to get in on. This is easy. Yeah, you know, we get in round here somewhere. We get in round here somewhere. You know, but this I cannot trade. There's no retrace. There's no value for me to get in on this trade. But if you took it, guys, I bet you are laughing. <laughs> that come hurtling down. Um, so those were the Swiss franc pairs. And then also gold and silver. They were hurtling up. Yeah, like the Swiss franc was coming down, gold was hurtling up. And there's a there's a correlation between gold strength and Swiss franc strength. You know, they're both a flight to safety, and we saw the indices coming down. So, you know, there's there's some correlations there that we need to be aware of. Um, so gold, guys, we thought we got a really nice level here. I bet, you know, most people did. You know, was in a downtrend, price come back up to this level, and the moving average 20. You know, we was thinking this was a really nice level to start selling. Um, and just look at that candle. That is crazy. Crazy candle. Yeah. Can you find another candle like that? Answers on a postcard. Um, if we go to the H4, guys, you know, I wanted to see a reaction. You know, I can't even zoom in. The price has moved that high. Look at it. You can't move in. Zoom in, really. I wanted to see a reaction here. Okay. Or as the day panned out, I wanted to see a break of this. But, you know, as you can see, we got no reaction at this level whatsoever. Silver, on the other hand, yeah, we did get a bit of a reaction. So silver, again, this just came flying up. But this is at a quite an interesting level. I sort of spotted this channel on Friday as well. So it would be interesting to see what silver does here. But you know, again, we thought we had a lovely setup here. You know, price had come back to this uh, resistance level. We got a bearish reaction. We also had the moving average 20. You know, everything looked good just to take it down to one of these blue lines, my targets. But alas, yeah, as you know, with silver and gold, it was just super duper bullish. Yeah, super duper is in all of the economic books. If you go down to the H4 now, guys, this one, we, you know, not really a reaction on the H4 at this level, which is what we were looking at. But we did get a reaction on the H1. And I was thinking about this trade. You can see here, guys, you know, especially when we saw this candle. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, but then gold was so bullish. They're highly correlated. So, you know, I, I just stayed out of it and I'm, you know, obviously I'm glad I did, but perhaps some of you guys did take this. Yeah. And if you did, you know, you're selling here, put your stop here or hedge, you know, you're, you're, you would have had a losing trade guys. Yeah. Silver and gold were crazy buck wild. Um, so yeah, those were all the trades from Friday guys. We had many, um, let's take a look at today's trades now. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed Friday's analysis, maybe you took some of the trade ideas, then come join us. I give you my analysis and trade ideas every day. So why not subscribe to the channel right now? We'd love to have you. Smash that notification button, guys, so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And also, guys, if everyone could please smash the like button, guys. It helps support the vid and the channel. Merci beaucoup. Um, right, trades for Monday, the 16th of October. So... What I'm seeing, guys, is this. We're seeing a lot of New Zealand and Aussie dollar weakness. And I would say New Zealand dollar is even weaker than Aussie dollar just by looking at Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar chart. Um, so this is sort of the basis of our trade ideas for today, guys. All right. So first and foremost, Euro Aussie dollar. Yeah, we're looking to buy this pair. I'm already in this trade. Um, but as you can see, guys, price came back down. Yeah, bit of a ranging market and then bang yeah we got a break of structure with this candle here so at this point we have got higher highs higher lows uptrend all right and the idea is just to take it back up to this gray zone if we drop down to the h4 now yeah i like i say i got into this trade 
it might still want to come down lower guys but you know this gray zone is a good area yeah this gray zone makes sense hopefully you know the moving average 20 can catch up and this will be a really nice area for entries okay so if we get a bullish reaction in here we can start taking price back up to here okay so that's the trade idea for euro aussie dollar um if it started breaking down of this level not so much not so interested guys you know we might get a reaction down here with some of these levels but not so interested guys i want to see a push you know not break the moving average 20 and, and push up all right so euro aussie dollar um also euro new zealand dollar obviously these are highly correlated um so we trade the one that gives us the best setup but let's start with the day chart and as you can see, but also let's start with the weekly because all of these are at good weekly levels as well. Yeah, we know that this through here is a good weekly level. Okay, and then if we go down to the day chart, guys, we have just had a daily structure break. Yeah, so it was clearly in a downtrend. Yeah, the market presented this last high. Yeah, and then once it comes up and breaks that level, we are interested in buying this pair. And um, because there's a structure change, we've got higher highs. And we, we just want to take price back up to this blue line and this 7,950 psychological level. If we drop down to the H4, um, there's a couple levels here I would consider buying from. So we've got this level through here, obviously, which was this was the last daily high here. This some some can sometimes prove to be a nice level to buy from. So, you know, we have had a bullish reaction here, but I would also like to see, you know, another bullish reaction and then we can start buying this pair. Or, you know, price could potentially come back down to this grey zone. So this grey zone, you can see price has reacted many times at this level and we've got the moving average 20 coming up. So if it retraces to here, just means we're getting some really nice value before we can start buying this pair as well. So two levels we can buy euro new zealand from and also guys pound new zealand dollar so all three of these trades are highly correlated guys all right so trade the one that gives you the best setup uh let's start with a day chart on pound new zealand dollar let's actually start on the weekly because again this is a nice weekly level yeah even over here all right so if we go back to the day chart, we're at a nice weekly level. You know, the market showed us this last high. Yeah, it said, Tom, if we break this level, we're in an uptrend. I said, thank you, Mr. Market, for telling me. Yeah, we got a break of this high with this candle. All right, so as soon as that happens, I'm looking for buys. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I buy from here, here, down here, here, here. I am looking for buys, but then I go down to the lower time frames, guys, to obviously look for the um, entries. So let's do that. Let's go down to the H4. And again, we've got a couple of areas here. So um, we've got this gray zone because price has reacted many times in this gray zone. It's also reacted here on Friday. But what I want to see is a retrace into this gray zone, a bullish reaction and then we can start buying it up to our target or price could it could retrace to the moving average 20 this is always an area i keep an eye on and it could start you know we could get a bullish reaction or price could come all the way back down to here because you can see through here guys price has reacted at this level many times so even if it comes back down to here I will still be happy to buy this because it represents value. Yeah. And then I'd probably, you know, take price back up to here, take some profit, leave some profit to run. All right, guys. So, yeah, um, those oh, we got one more trade idea. There's one more, guys. But those three are highly correlated. Uh, and before I show you my last trade idea, guys, if you enjoy my analysis and the way I look at the charts, then come join the channel. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also, guys, if I could ask everyone to please uh, smash the like button. Um, and also, guys, let me just mention a few cool things that we do. So first of all, we've got the free Discord channel. It's free. So come join it. We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got indicators. We've got 
psychology did i say that money management loads of cool things guys come join the free discord channel is the link is in the video description also guys we've got the vip discord channel yeah you do have to pay for this but you get access to me throughout the trading day as in you can ask me questions if you need help um i give you my trade ideas as and when they happen we also have two other expert traders sharing their ideas. Um, we give you exclusive content every week. We have a performance coach, should you need help with performance. And we're running testing a new strategy as we speak as well. So loads of value in there, guys. Come join the VIP Discord. The link is in the video description. Um, also, guys, if you would like to read the charts like I do, um, then I run a mentorship program. Um, if you would like to join this, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. The email is in the video description. Um, and also, guys, if you watch this analysis vid every day, you watch the live streams and you want to show your support for the channel, well, you can. You can become a Simply Forex YouTube member. We've got, what have we got? I always forget the tiers. We've got supporter, gold, and legend, all right? So each tier has more and more perks, guys, all right? So check it out if you would like to support the channel. And also, guys, don't forget the live stream, 8 a.m. today. Get your questions ready. I am ready for you. Right. Last trade idea for today is this, is pound against the Canadian dollar. So if you think about what I'm saying there, guys, is Canadian dollar is stronger than everything. Yeah, it's stronger than euro, stronger than pound, stronger than Aussie dollar, stronger than New Zealand dollar. Yeah, because I'm looking at a structure break here on the pound against the Canadian dollar. So if we look at the day chart, guys, yeah, you can clearly see we were in a downtrend. And here we were still in a downtrend. We, we wasn't sure what was going to happen here. The market didn't give us a direction really if anything it was just ranging here but then on friday we got a break of those lows okay so that tells me we now have lower lows and we've had a break out of this uh range this you know difficult to read price action all right and the idea would be to take price back down to the big psychological level at the low there six four hundred um, if we drop down to the H4 now, we've got a couple of levels we can trade it from. So price could retrace to here, yeah, this level here where you can see price has reacted before. Um, and we just want to see a bearish reaction and we can start selling this pair. Or price comes all the way back up to here and test this last low here. Yeah, moving average 20 comes round. And then we can start selling this pair as well. If we get a bearish reaction, I'll take some profit here leave some profit to run all right guys so yeah pound canadian dollar we're looking to short that pair so those are my trade ideas for today guys let's take a look at the news now so guys news for monday the 16th of october um so nothing really during the day but if you're still awake yeah we've got this at 10 45 um london gmt we've got the cpi quarter on quarter year on year coming out for the New Zealand dollar. So this could really impact any New Zealand dollar pair, guys. So must be aware of that if you're still awake. Um, but other than that, guys, yeah, no news for us to worry about. All right, guys. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you have, please subscribe, like, and share with your trader friends. Um, don't forget to join us for the live stream later today, 8 a.m. New York EST. Um, and have a great trading day, guys. See you later.